greetings to you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For the glory of our God, shall we all sing the hymn, Trust and Obey Together. Greetings to you all again. Before starting today's meditation, I would like to ask you one question. Have you ever heard people saying, it is okay to be imperfect, it is okay not to be good in everything and some people even go to a greater extent quoting Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 20 which says, surely there is not a righteous man on earth who does good and never sins. We have, isn't it? Whenever our parents or our teachers get mad at us or when we feel down, we find our friends sitting by our sides, tapping our shoulders and saying, it's okay to commit mistakes. It's okay to be imperfect. Yes, it's okay to be imperfect. But, have we ever sat back and thought how our mind actually reacted to this sentence? Many times it was okay for our mind, for us to be imperfect, for us to not be good in everything. But, when this us is replaced by someone else's name, are we feeling okay? Is it okay for us? It's a time for us to think. So there's a verse in the Bible where uh, Jesus says in Matthew chapter 7, verse 3 to 5, Why do you see the speck that is on your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that's on your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when there is the log in your own eye. You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Yes, many a times we see the speck on others' eye rather than looking at the log that is in our own eye. But that's okay, we are humans. We tend to look into the mistakes of others. But on focusing on the mistakes of others, we often forget to look on the mistakes that we have committed. To look on our flaws, our faults. We do this many a times. There was this woman called Rhea. She was very gentle, very pious, very regular to, to the church, which she regularly attends. There was this Sunday when she was listening to the sermon. She found a group of boys playing with their mobile phones when the service was going on. And there were several kids running here and there 
in the church. She found very unhappy. She was not happy with what was going on there. But she kept quiet. She went home. And then the next Sunday, she came to the service. And then the same thing repeated. Now she was not quiet. She found very displeased. She was waiting for the service to get over. And then she went to the vestry, met the priest and told him about what was going on. And then she also told him that she was not going to attend the service thereafter because of those ungodly people there. Now the priest silently listened and asked her for one chance and asked her to do one thing in the next service. She said yes and in the next Sunday when she came to the service, before the service started, the priest came to her, gave her two tumblers filled with water and asked her to go around the church right from the moment the service commenced till the service ended. And he also told her not to spill even a single drop of water from those tumblers. She found it idiotic in the beginning, but she obeyed. She obeyed and she started walking around the church. She was very conscious and once the service ended, the priest came to her and asked her how many people were chatting with their mobile phones, how many children were running here and there. And you know what she replied? She was left with no answer. She told him, how can you expect me to answer your question? Because I was focused on my tumblers filled with water. You told me not to spill even a single drop from it. And I was focused on that. I didn't notice anyone playing or anyone using their mobile phones when the service was going on. Now the priest smiled and replied, Daughter, it's all about on what your focus is. It's all about on what your focus is. Yes. So today in our lives, where is our focus? Is it on something productive or on something useless? Is our focus on the faults on others or are we standing in front of a mirror reflecting our own mistakes, our own faults and trying to correct them? There's a saying which goes like this. People who spend time looking for faults in others should spend time correcting their own. Yes, should spend time correcting their own. Yeah, maybe this is the time for us to think. This is the time for us to sit back and realize. God has gifted us with beautiful days, wonderful days of lockdown. And if we make the best use of it when we come out, we are definitely going to come out as a better person. I often remember this uh, Tamil poem once recited by Reverend Charles Edwin. It goes like this. Kaattile uru thani maramai vandu vandene, kattu paadu edu millai nimirindu nindrene, andru uru nal thani manidan arugil vandida, adiyodu vettapattu vilindu ponene, thundu thundai vettapattu uruku ponene, வெண் தணலின் துளைகளாலே வேதனை அடைந்தேன் மெழுகு வைத்து தேய்த்திட பலபலப்பானேன் தாடி ஆயர் கரங்களிலே குழலாய் மலர்ந்தேன் ஒரு மூங்கில் புல்லாங்குழலானது ஒரு மூங்கில் புல்லாங்குழலானது வென் அ பேம்பு கேன் பிகம் அ ஸ்வீட் சவுண்டிங் ஃப்ளூட் ஆன் அண்டர் கோயிங் சர்டன் சேஞ்சஸ் தென் யூ கேன் பிகம் அ பெட்டர் பர்சன் ஆன் சேயிங் எஸ் டு த சேஞ்சஸ் and practicing it daily in your lives. So there will be definitely difficulties. Without difficulties, no one can achieve anything. But one thing is sure. God's strength is made perfect in our weakness. God's strength is made perfect in our weakness. And if we say yes to our changes, we are definitely going to shine brighter and brighter each and every day. Mahatma Gandhiji also once said, be the change you want to see in others. So the next time when you feel frustrated, 
with your surroundings. Think that nothing is right and everything needs to be changed. Be the change you want to see in others. Let us be the change. With this little thought in mind, shall we all look to the Lord in prayer who can guide us in all the walks of our life. Our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you Lord for giving us this wonderful morning. Thank you Lord for speaking to us. Lord, help us to focus on our mistakes. Help us to change our focus and help us to be the change we wanted to see in others. Lord, we thank you for our college, our principal, our teaching and non-teaching staff, and all the students of this reputed institution. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us hale and healthy. Thank you for keeping us safe till this day. Lord, we ask for your guidance and your grace in all the walks of our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.